It's been a minute, and I still don't have a theme song for this. I don't. Pro I probably never will. This is just like what I'm gonna say at the beginning of all of them. But this is a question video. Okay. Questions. I'm answering them. And I'm being asked by Larry. So, um, whatever. Oh uh, yeah. Ready? <laughs> what is your least favorite movie? Uh. God, that's a that's a. Why did I? Um, the worst movie. It's probably the um a spit on your grave movie or like the uh, last house on the left. Like. Those movies are not okay with me. Yeah, I can see why. Alright. Do you still watch cartoons? Fuck yeah. Yeah, I like American Dad. I like Family Guy. Shit, I watch fucking the Amazing Adventures of Gumball. Powerpuff Girls is my shit. I don't give a fuck. What? Yeah, I said Amazing World of Gumball. Powerpuff Girls. Oh, you just said Cartoon Powerpuff. Network. That's true. The Courage the Cowardly Doll. That's a good one. Is crying a sign of weakness? Absolutely not. That's right. Absolutely not. I agree. Feelings are not a sign of weakness in any way, shape, or form. Nope. What can you do today that you couldn't a year ago? Uh, go a day without crying. You can? I can. Oh, maybe. Have you ever learned from making a mistake? I've learned from making a lot of mistakes. Isn't that how you learn? Yeah. That's true. That's true, definitely. Alright. <laughs> oh, if you could ask God a question and get a response, what would it be? Oh, oh that's heavy. Uh, why? 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 Just why? Tell me everything. I want to know why. Hmm. What holds you back? Myself. Okay. Where were you 10 years ago? 10 years ago, I was 21. I was 36. I was, okay, so I was probably in a old trailer somewhere and rusted <laughs> with my baby daddy. Living the dream. <laughs> Were y'all good then, 10 years ago? No, yeah. So y'all was, yeah. so was doing good then? We, right? did, we didn't do for like a whole six years. That's what I'm saying. So that was a good part of that 10 years ago. That we had only been together for maybe like two years. That's what's up. But it was, yeah. Was that the same question again? It was horrible though at the same time. <laughs> do you have any weird habits? Yeah. Is the habit? Habit, um, self-loathing. <laughs> <laughs> that's like loving yourself, right? It's just like, yeah, self-loathing. But that's a good habit. No. Are you sure that's what that means? We can, I mean, I'm always willing to learn if I'm not. What is self-loathing? Yeah, it's a feeling that resembles self-hate and it's constantly pushes the idea that you're not good enough. You taught me something. Thank you. I've been out there by self load all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hard question to answer. No, that is a, I mean, a weird habit of self load. Wow, you taught me something right there. I feel like I'm dumb ass now. No. <clears throat> okay, what is, I had to make sure I read that right. What's the best concert you've ever been to? Probably the Panic at the Disco uh, Motion City soundtrack. That was pretty cool. I got the crowd surf. What was the question? Is it ever okay? No, to no, right. don't do it. Like, listen, something different. Maybe you should look because you're not necessarily no. telling me that no. I'm looking fat or anything. Like, it'd be like, no. hey, look. But we can't do that. Why? Who's, oh, I like this place. Who's the most overrated celebrity <sighs> now or ever? Overrated celebrity. The Kardashians. So overrated. Next question. <clears throat> I know what my answer would be. Probably be your answer. Is there a place you've been that you never want to visit again? I can't think of an answer to that question. Uh, hold on, I'm thinking. Rock bottom? Oh, I haven't been there yet. Any I'm pretty colors? sure it can get worse. It always get worse. It always get worse. Trust me. I haven't like 
I haven't completely I haven't completely gotten there yet. <laughs> I keep thinking that I'm there and I'm just like, oh damn, this bitch is deep. Yeah, this keeps going. What the fuck? There's gotta be a bottom like, somewhere. Where the fuck? <laughs> we can come back to that later on. We'll see. Uh, would you rather be able to talk to animals or speak all languages? That's a good. Speak all langu languages, languages because I'm already. I can already speak to my dog. That's true, but speaking the language can't tell you something you might want to know. Like the dog might see something that we want to know, and he's seen it, but we can't talk to him. No, no, listen, it would be way better to be able to speak all <laughs> no, languages. I don't know. Because they're people. What was the best decade for music? Come on now. Do, 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 do 90s music. What? 90s alternative. It's the only answer yes. there is. The only answer there is. Yes, 90s alternative. 90s Start Out Blind is like my band. Are you your own person? Uh, but yeah, because I am one person. Body. Um, I can be somebody else every now and then. Sometimes I'm not even here at all. I mean, like, yeah, but, but, your own person. but I am you who do, I how am. You act, it's, I am you, original. You, you, I am no me. matter where you're at. You, number. It used to be four. For like my entire life, it was four. four. I don't know where <laughs> four came from, but I loved the number four. That was my lucky number, no matter what. But I no longer. <laughs> I don't know, something happened, and instead, it's not, it's no longer four, it's three now, and it hasn't even been three for a year yet, but, uh, it changed, yeah. Still right and, uh, yeah, four it's changed my whole, like, perspective. Get the, what, which of the seven dwarfs are you, Dopey. You, which one do you relate to, which one are you? Dopey. <laughs> that's a good or fucking sleepy. choice. That's a good fucking choice. That's a good fucking choice. I don't, you can. That's a good fucking choice. Uh, I think, uh. Sleepy, dopey. Yeah, dopey or sleepy, like one or the other. Mm -hmm. Make sure I don't sleep as well. Are you more of an invert or extrovert? I'm an <laughs> amnivert. Now explain to me what these mean again. Invert. An introvert is when you stay at home all the time. You don't leave your house. Like you don't have any friends. Okay, you don't, like, know where you go out. Like you best leave me the alone, solitude. Okay. Yeah. So what's what you say? An extrovert yeah. is somebody that's like out all, out all the time. Like wants to hang out with people. And wants to like socialize. But so I'm inside. right there in the middle. I'm an amnivert. I feel that. Yeah. That, that yeah that's true. Do you have any pet peeves? Yes. I think I'm nervous. Hold Which on, one? let me think. What do you got? <laughs> Smacking. Smacking? Ooh. Ooh, it's... Um... Touching. Like... Oh, yeah, like... Dude, so it's, ooh, I cannot stand it. I, can, I, I hate it. I don't know. Like, I'm you definitely not a freaking physic, physical person. <laughs> she'll hug you from the side. She's still better touching you. <laughs> Swear to God. Um, but like, especially taps. Dude, oh my God, like... If you keep ta like if you're tapping me or if you're trying to tell me a story and you keep like touching me, flicking a lot. I'm just like fucking stop, stop. Oh my god, like oh, oh it makes me mad. <laughs> it makes me. I don't like that shit. Don't don't touch me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Leave my shirt alone. <laughs> How do you celebrate your birthday? I celebrate mine. Alone. I haven't really been celebrating mine at all for the past like three years. Which you really have? No. Dude, it's like less people tell me every year. And that's just wild to me. Like, that's my I don't birthday. Forgot. Hold up. Hold on. Do I look like an Aquarius? Have never been on a bad date? Who dates? Bro, I, uh, I did. I went on one when I first moved up here. Like, it was the first date that I went on from moving up here. Somebody from, from here? No. Okay. But he came to get me from here. I'll take that And uh, I ended up getting food poisoning. Yeah, I was just listening. I gave this. Was there a second date? <laughs> no, it was a, no, uh, no. Was not that But that was my choice. But listen, you'll understand why in a second. Right. Okay, so this guy came and picked me up. Uh, we went out to eat, and I had the chicken strips and the french fries, and I got food poisoning, and I did not know. Where'd y'all go to eat it? I can't remember. I want to say it's like... Oh, y'all went to another town. Yeah, it was in okay. Shreveport, but yeah, really it was so bad. Like, we went to one of his friends' house afterwards, and they were all doing, they were and I really liked it. So, uh, I I did a good dab, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> was it throw up that hit you? Or? No, listen. 
I was paralyzed. Yes, yes, I was playing, and it set in the fucking food poisoning. Well, food poisoning or, or no? Then I, I know, I know, I would, uh, did not get drugged. But like I'm telling you, okay. So, anyways, continuing when we got to the house, probably get sick of you. I was dying. Yeah. So we get to the house, and <laughs> he stops the truck, and I look at him, and I like, I was like, I'm about to throw up. I just opened, I opened the freaking door. This you opened the door. <laughs> Started puking everywhere. Is that the reason why? No, no. I'm the type of person that if I'm throwing up, thank God it was raining at this time. Yeah. Like, oh my God, thank God, because the driveway is on a slope, so it was like. But this guy comes over there and tries to hold my hair. Please tell me. Get the fuck away from me, dude. Right. And I don't even. I don't what like physical contact. You're sick. I don't understand. I can see that. Now, he's trying to be sweet, trying to be a gentleman, bro. You just backfired. Like, That's why I don't want the second date. You trust me, bro. When I'm throwing up, like you just need to leave me alone. If you didn't stand over there and just watched her, you might have had a chance. So is that why I don't want the second date? Because you got sick. More. There's uh -huh. more. I'm still kind of paralyzed. Did, did he take you to bed? Put you to sleep and pass out? No. Okay, I thought somebody else over there. No, uh, so, I'm, uh, throwing up, he's trying to hold my hair, and, like, my Mimi's out there by this time. And I'm trying to explain to her about food poisoning and how sick I am and stuff, and it's just Mimi. And Anna. So, yes, and, it's, and I'm trying to make a deal with the door. And like, I'm like, if I can just make it to you, man, I'll be good, like. <laughs> 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 Mama. Come on, Lucas. I was like, oh, I just wait a second. Just wait a second, baby. And I'm just still trying. I'm trying to be like tele telepathically talking to this door. Like, okay. And I'm just like, okay. At the count of three. One, two, three, Brittany, get up, go. And I was just like dead set on the door. And I just took, I just started walking, like speed walking. And I got into the house and went straight to the bathroom and continued to throw up and die for like an, uh, for a minute. And the guy sat in the living room and waited. Mimi came in there like twice and was like, your friend's still in here. And I'm like, what? Tell him to go home. He just said that you were like, how do you think he's going to get a good night kiss? I mean, you just threw up. Dude, I was throwing up bad though. He might have been scared for my fucking life. You're always there though. But, uh, and he's still, and so then him and Anna both finally come to the door and she's trying to talk to me. And I'm just like, dude, you're just going to have to go home. Please just go home. Please just go home. So he goes home. Do y'all still do you still talk communicate with this guy at all? So there's no way we get him get him find out where he's at, talk to him, get him to come here for a video for like a his side of it too? That'd be cool. Yes. Yes. No. We'll, we'll talk later when this is over and try to get his information. Do you show your emotions? Yeah. Freely. On impulse sometimes, bro. Like that, see? Just get out. <laughs> And that's a good question leading into the next one. What are your triggers? Ooh, I have a list of them somewhere. Um, repetition. Like, if somebody's saying, like, okay, so somebody's trying to tell me something, but they're explaining it, and they're saying something over and over and over again. Because, like, or, like, when too much stuff is going on. Too much commotion. At one, at one time, like, and I'm in a oh, confined yeah. oh, space. I, like, I see. I see. Whoa, too much! <laughs> I can't do this. I have to get the fuck out of this room. Like, yeah. I can't breathe. Uh, no, I'm you feel smothered. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, claustrophobic. Yeah. But because of people, not space. Well, that too. It has. It takes a role in it. Anyways, I remember that time we went to McDonald's. We ordered food. Me and you, Daisy. Oh, that's too and much. You, it was, it was, like it was much. funny at first, but they started. You had you had the person on the speaker. You had me talking to you. Then you had them two up there, and I could see it just by the way you started breathing. I, was like, I started yeah. tripping. I said, "Yeah, chill out." <laughs> <laughs> How often do you listen to music? All the time, because there's always like a song playing in my head most of the time too. So even <laughs> when like God, I'm not listening to music, I'm listening to music. How okay. are you social or antisocial? It depends on who I'm socializing with. Depends on the situation. Yeah, I get that. To me, you're a sociable person. Yeah. You are. You're not antisocial. You're not against it. So, do you smile at strangers? I kind of smell it like everybody. Yeah, and people probably, people probably, strangers probably take that as, as something that ain't. Like, oh, that's a good smile. <laughs> what are your hobbies? Oh, my hobbies. Um, rocks. I've really, I'm really into rocks right now. Like, for real, like, I'm, I'm very interested in rocks right now. TikTok. Are you scared of the dark? 
No, but I'm I'm scared of what might be in that shit Thank because you, if I want to see you coming, bitch, I want to see you. Uh, I'm gonna get you, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm not scared. Of I'm, scared of, I'm, I'm scared of sometimes of what's in the dark and what it's capable of doing if it decides it wants to fuck with me. And so, my mind be fucking with me too, so like oh, I don't like that. Uh, yeah. Do you have trust issues? You should be asking this question. Uh, you're, you're gonna interview me next. Absolutely, I think everybody has some kind of trust issues. I, I would say that too. If anybody tells you they don't, they're lying. Do you well, can you roll your R's? <laughs> How do I live okay. in I can't roll my R's, I can't whistle. Oh, and then you do. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Are you ticklish? Uh, no, not, yes. not really. Do you love easy? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's, in, all, in more than one way. Are you easy to love? That's a trust question. Um. Or a hard question. Okay. I believe that I am easy to love, but it's okay. hard for people to love someone that's easy to love. Yeah. I feel like I'm hella easy to love. You're, you're, you're hella. I can see why people might say it's not. It, you're hard to love. I can see. I can see why they might say it, but I'm not saying it's true. I, I think it's easy for anybody to love somebody. It's not I easy. I think it's hard them. for people to love. It's easy to love. It's harder to trust. Well, yeah, but I mean, I think it's just hard for people to to love anybody these days because they're still in love with someone else. Or they're not pat. Or they're not. Time. Or they can't get by with someone else to done, so they don't want to love. Well, so. yeah, like, uh, I think, but since I'm so, I'm such an understanding person, and, like, I'm not the type of person to, like, bleed on somebody. I took three years of healing, man, you're a, like. You're an understanding person, but you, you are big on forgiving, too. That, I'm just saying, that's what I'm saying, so it's easy to love me, but it's also easy to just be like, that can be my backup, because you. the ones that are hard to love are the ones that I want to love me, I guess. That's, that's, I don't know why we do that, but, yeah, you're right. I agree. Uh, but shit, are you, uh, what do you say during an awkward silence? Nothing. I feel like that should be awkward. Like, sometimes I don't, I don't even fucking realize it's an awkward silence. Uh, I'll be like, yeah, good talk, guys. It's too quiet. <laughs> I'll just be like, so I'll just be sitting there. I'll probably go to sleep or something. <laughs> <laughs> you will. If you're a room full of people and they're having a freaking party, you should be over there dozing. I like to sleep. <laughs> Do you care if people talk bad about you? Uh, yeah. Yes. When, but it's only, like, if you're not saying it to my face. I feel you. Like, you can talk about me, but make sure that, uh, I know what you're saying. And make sure that it's the fucking truth. Yeah, that's, that's the thing, like, like right now, what bothers me, you're, they're talking about your character or something, and it's live. Motorcycle not too long ago. Yeah, like that. I know who like, that, you know what I'm saying. Like, I don't do cardio. Do I look like I would fucking jump off the back I mean, of the motorcycle friend, and how, take how, off how ranch? How many times have you been on your best friend's bike? I mean, Twice? Times. I think and maybe he had, two and or the second time out. I seen you on there, the first time I ever seen you on there, he had to like talk you into it. So I can't had, believe that. That's why when I heard it, I was like, yeah, because that's just, she just jumps on the bike I every day. Yeah. What makes you unique? <laughs> okay, uh, the question was, um... What makes you unique? Me, just how, who I am, like, the way that I think of things, like, the, my structure. Yeah. Can you keep a secret? Can you keep a secret? secret? <laughs> Listen, I can keep a secret. It's the people that I tell who can't. That don't mean no... That's what I'm saying. I'm <laughs> yeah, gonna, I can keep I'm a gonna secret. I'm going to everybody in this room, starting with me first. Like... I'm not saying, can't you see What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you. That's it. <clears throat> Do you believe different <laughs> dimensions exist? Yeah, I believe in the multiverses. I believe mm -hmm. in... Uh, yeah, used to. You know, uh, uh, exactly. But I do now. But yeah, I believe that there is a whole other. Like a glitch in the matrix. Yeah, yeah. there is a matrix. We are living in a simulation. Well, I like it's it's, in my head. it's yeah. all together. We and everything is connected. I believe. I believe that everything what they is got connected. Is. I believe that all that shit is. It's subconscious. It's I recycled. Thought, girl. Yeah, I remember how you taste. Yeah. Is a human body? Or what? Is the human body? 
Or the human mind more important to you? The human mind, oh, dude, a hundred percent human sure. mind. Like that's kind of that's kind of a. I could learn about anatomy in a freaking school yeah. semester, but I can't learn, dude, psychology. The mind. Oh no, it is, it is. Okay, if that's if that's the way you're. Uh, yeah. Yes. I, I love, but man, mind is a weird thing. The mind, it is, but I want to know everything about it. I want to know every fucking thing. Everything is fucking connected. That's why it's something about learning about the mind is because there's always going to be something to learn about it. It's always exactly. constantly every I want to learn psychology, like, really bad. Like, I want to go to school and, like, study it and shit. That would be. That's and be, like, a counselor or something. Are you tired of anything? I'm tired of everything. You know what I mean? Say it again. Do you think your outside appearance is a good representation of the real you? No. I don't think so at all. Is anybody's though? Sometimes. Okay. What is something you, you're sure you'll never experience? Mm. Uh, skydiving. Why do you think you want to experience it? I don't want to do that. That's a good reason why you might not experience it. <laughs> All right. Do you believe in second chances? Yeah. In thirds, and fourths, and fifths, and sixths. Most of the times, I don't make the same mistake twice. I make it way more times than that. I believe in second sure. chances. Depend. Have you ever cheated on anyone in any way? Texting, flirting with somebody else through a text. Anyway, never. No. I'm oh. telling you, man, something's wrong with me when it comes to relationships. I just don't... I don't try to really talk to nobody else. Would you rather travel to the future or the past? Future. Oh, the past. I want to change so much. I would change so much because of how it would make me turn out in the future. Yeah, I feel that. Right. right here. What makes you angry? Unfairness. Not Liars. being fair, like narcissism. Um, and that's a word that's like very, very widely just thrown around, but like that's a very but no, serious uh, yeah. topic it's yeah. a very serious yes. person and like persona uh, to have to like deal with just like how people with mental, mental illness are hard to deal with but that shit right there that that, just, that don't really fuck with you or like dark empaths those are those are bad too like very like it's what do you have a nickname huh? b is my nickname b, uh, b, b is my nickname is your glass half full or half empty ask me on a certain day it'd be a different answer it's refillable Whoa! I never thought about that answer. What's the craziest thing you've ever done for love? Made myself look like a complete and total fucking joke. Embarrassed the shit out of myself. Our feet aren't built into this anymore. <laughs> oh. Do you have any scars? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Got this one in the middle of my forehead. Um, I have this burn mark on my arm right here. Um, I also have a little small one from same burn and this one right here from same burn. Uh, I've, this will, that'll probably be a scar. Ever wanted someone that was it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next question. Next question! Do you have anything you want to get off your chest? I don't know if I should get this dog or not. Why? Why don't you know? Uh, that's really hard. To, um, it's really hard to put in words. Really, like I really want, I really want to get them, but that's one hundred and fifty dollars. Uh. Chessie, even though she gets on my damn nerves. Is it a male or female? It's a male. It's just like Riker, dude. Just like him. He's the runt. He's a small one. He looks just like him. 
Ik ga je binnen de mail naar te vinden. Um, was je hand was leeg? Is hij nou? En oké? Wat stopt in je right now? Well, other than the age, what's stopping you? Yeah, uh, that I have another, I already have a dog. Are you crying? No. Okay. No, I'm not crying. I'm not crying. Do I'm, you, do I'm you, trying not to, but I'm not yet. Like, I already have Chessy and, like, one dog. Uh, think, do you think it being Rackers, would, yeah. would, would, do you think it would... And that's why be better I mean, for you because it, that it help you. And that's closer? another thing because like I don't know because you I feel like, like when it, okay like earlier when we we're talking about glitches in the matrix and stuff I feel like the wrong dog was taken. I feel like the wrong dog got sick. What's that one movie? With? That's my baby. Yeah, it's new. Uh... But I mean, I just feel like I what if I don't get another chance? Like this is the same parents, like the same parents the Riker had. Well, I would say this. It's the Roy. It looks Both of like the same parents. And I didn't get yes. I like, would tell you this: you can always find someone to take that her, but you can't ever find. You might not ever be able to find same parent stuff again. So. I know, but I'm gonna feel so bad Why? for like letting somebody have Chessy. But that's something you probably need to do. Is get that out. No, I mean, I think so too. It's just, uh, yeah, Especially the money. Do thing. any of them look like him? Do they all look like him? Dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, that, this is Riker. Like, this is Riker. Yeah, like, I guess. This is like, Maybe that's why that, that, that opportunity presented itself for you. She told me as soon as the baby, like, as soon as the puppies were born, she sent me a picture. And I, would name, and I immediately name? wanted him. And he wanted, he was the right. What are you going to name him? Rowan. You going to name him Rowan? Rowan? Riker Tim. No, his name is Rowan because he's not Riker. And he's the right, though? Riker's always he's, the, Riker, the always Riker, Riker was the right, like. And he's got a bat. He's got a bat on the back of his neck. Like the whiteness. It's a oh. bat. And like my story, I know that y'all know it. The sleep paralysis story that turns into the this, uh, the rev and the bat hitting the side of the car. He's got a bat on his neck. And that's like my, that's become my thing. Cause I feel like that was the rev talking to me. Like that was, that was a weird night. Okay. And like it has something to do with death and Riker's death. And like that's. I've got to, I've got to get him. I've got to get that dog. Like, and she told me that I can pay her uh, early and stuff. Like, I've been thinking about it just to make sure I get him. Yeah, yeah. This is the last question. Are you okay? No. Well, how do you answer that honestly? No, I'm not. But I'm better than I have been. Yeah, yeah, I didn't cry. You almost did. I thought I you cried. Did. And I don't like Y'all, I made it through that. I didn't cry. <laughs> that was my question video, and it went pretty good. I think that might have been one of the best ones. Okay, bye.